Hi kids, how are you today? Do you like to go for walks in the woods? I love to go in the woods and I take my dog Luna for walks with me. Right now she's kind of tired out because she's getting old and the sun's out and she feels, the sun feels so good. But just the other day I took her for a walk in one of my favorite places. It's called Roy Park Preserve. Have you ever been there? Last week when I took took Luna for a walk at Roy Park Preserve, I was walk, walking around our normal path and I looked over next to the field and I saw something really different. Do you know what it was? Well, there was this big pine tree and usually it's standing straight up right beside the trees in the other woods. But this time the tree had fallen over and it was leaning. I'll show you a picture of what it looked like. So what do you think happened to that tree? Maybe a big wind came along, or maybe a storm or lightning hit it. Maybe the roots weren't in the soil all the way, but for any reason, I don't know what it was, the tree was leaning over. So I was curious as to what that was gonna look like at the bottom of the tree. So I walked around some bushes and I got over to the other side of the tree and I noticed this on the roots. And here's a picture of the tree roots. Now, do you notice anything special or unusual about the roots? As you can see, some of the roots are in the ground and some of the roots are not in the ground. No wonder the tree fell over. If a tree's roots aren't in the ground all the way, the tree can't stand up like it's supposed to, can it? So we're going to take a look at the tree picture again with the one leaning over. Now I wonder why this tree is still alive. We saw that some of the roots were in the ground and some weren't in the ground. Do you think maybe it has something to do with the fact that the tree is leaning on another tree? Look carefully at the picture and you'll see that there's another tree in the woods that the tree is leaning on. And that tree is supporting it and helping it to stand up. Even though it's leaning, it's still standing. When I saw this tree leaning, it reminded me of some importance of leaning on Jesus and leaning on our friends when we feel like we're getting uprooted. Sometimes when our feelings get the best of us, and we just feel like we can't go on, we don't know what to do or how to change our feelings. I kind of describe that as feeling like we're getting unrooted, just like this tree did. So do you ever get discouraged? Do you try to learn a new task like riding a bike or uh, playing a musical instrument and sometimes you don't learn it as quickly as you want to and that gets kind of discouraging, huh? How about sad? Do you ever feel sad? Maybe one of your friends has just moved away or maybe someone you know has died. Do you have any friends that have moved away recently? Do you ever get angry? Do you ever get angry with your siblings, with your brother or sister, if they break one of your toys or if they um, break one of your projects that you've worked really hard on? And how about lonely? Do you feel lonely sometimes, especially now with the COVID virus where we can't really get together with our friends and play with them in person? Maybe just talk on the phone or talk to them on Zoom even, but still can't get together with them, right? Well, all of these feelings can become, can make you feel anxious. 
and make you feel like you're becoming unrooted a little bit. So when your tree roots are starting to come out a little bit, what can you do? Well, the first thing you can do is you can lean on Jesus. The Bible tells us in Philippians that if we're worried about anything, we can bring our request to God and he will answer our prayers. We can pray to God when we feel like our roots are coming out of the ground and we can ask for strength to deal with our emotions. He will hear us and change discouragement into hope, loneliness into comfort, sadness into joy, and anger into patience. And he will give us his peace and guard our hearts and our minds as we trust him. Another thing we can do if we're feeling like we're coming unrooted a little is we can lean on our friends. The Bible says in Proverbs 18, 24, that there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Do you have a good friend that you can lean on when you can focus and help you to get your focus back on Jesus? You can tell them your feelings. Just like the tree in the woods is supported by the tree that it fell over on, our friends can support us when our emotions are taking over. You might not be able to see your friends now, but you can call them and you can tell them about your troubles. They can listen to you and pray for you and encourage you to trust in the Lord. Also, you can be like the tree in the woods that's standing tall and you can support your friends when they call you on the phone. You can be a good listener and you can pray for them and you can remind them to focus on Jesus. A good example of a true friendship in the Bible is the story of David and Jonathan. The story is called Best Friends in the Beginner's Bible and it's found in 1 Samuel chapters 18 to 20. You can read the whole story of their friendship with your parents. Jonathan gave David his robe, tunic, bow, belt, and sword to show that he wanted to be his friend and would be loyal to him. Do you ever share any of your things with your friends? Many years later, Jonathan used his bow and arrow to show David that he was in great danger. And for his safety, David needed to leave right away. As they parted ways, they promised that they would be best friends forever. Even though David and Jonathan couldn't live together in the same place anymore, they could still be friends and support each other in prayer. So next time you feel like life is getting uprooted and your emotions are taking over, remember that you can lean on Jesus and your friends and they will help you to refocus and give you the strength you need to go on. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the reminder in the Bible not to be anxious about anything, but to give our requests to you. Help us to lean on you. Thank you that you always support us and give us peace. Thank you that we have friends that we can lean on as well. Help us to remember to contact our friends when our emotions take over. Also, help us to be a good friend and a good listener when our friends need someone to talk to. Help us to remember to pray for them and encourage them to trust in you. In Jesus' name, amen. So, next time you see a tree leaning on another tree, remember, you can lean on Jesus and on your friends when you feel like your roots are coming out of the ground. And remember that you can be like the tree that is still standing and let your friends lean on you. See you later.